What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with how to wire your Hobbywing ESC for telemetry. So we have a Brain 2 for this helicopter and we have a Hobbywing 130 HV. Now this is a Goblin Black Thunder 650. So we are running on 12S. So now this model had a Castle 160 in it. We pulled that out, update it to modern day electronics. So we already have a Brain 2 installed. We already have a Spectrum SRXL2 installed. Now I will link this video in the description below and that goes over how to wire your SRXL2 to your brain slash icon fly barless unit. So now we're gonna go over how to get the telemetry with our hobby wing. So we're gonna go ahead, get our hobby wing out of the box and let's go over what we, we have our hobby wing ESC out of the box and we have what comes with the hobby wing 130. Now this is going to be the same for all hobby wing ESCs 80 and up. The 60 will also give you certain telemetry, but not all of it. So anything Hobbywing 80 and up to the Hobbywing 200, this video is going to be the exact same. So now on the Hobbywing 130, your wires are detachable from the back of the ESC, which I really like because you can leave the harness in the helicopter and remove the ESC if need be. So you will notice on all Hobbywing ESCs, you have a wire that is white, red, and black, which this is your throttle line that goes to your flat barless unit. And then you have a wire that is yellow, red, and brown. This is going to be your BEC power backup lead, which is the red and brown. As you notice here, it is split into two. And then the yellow wire is going to be your RPM port. Now I tie both of these together and I plug them right into the governor port of the icon because there's no need for two different channels tied up. Now, when you look at your ESC, Hobbywing 120s and such will be back here where the fan port is, but you will notice your throttle port plugs in to here and your BEC port plugs into there. This is the port we wanna go for, is the plus, minus, and P port. This is where your fan will plug in. Now your fan is gonna go to the plus and the minus. So we have our plus and minus of the fan side. That is going to plug right into here. So now you'll notice that we have plus and minus where they're supposed to go, but we have an open port. This open port is the P port. The P port is the port that's going to give you your telemetry. So you're going to run a single line from the P port. It will go to channel five of the four, five, six port of the icon. So the middle pin. Now this is very, very important that you never, ever, ever, ever put power to the four, five, six port. That is a signal only port. And as we went over in the SRXL2 video, you tie your SRXL2 into channel three right here. So channel three is SRXL2, channel five from the 456 port is telemetry line from the P port of the hobby wing. So let's go ahead and start making up some wires. We got the ESC mounted up. We got our bullet connectors. We still have the solder battery, but we got the ESC to the motor. Now again, we need to come off of the P port here from the fan port. We need to go all the way up to our fly barless unit that's up there. So what I recommend doing... Two different things. So you can either get yourself a servo extension and cut off one line. Or what I personally do, because you need to have a female plug here and a female plug at your fly barless unit. So what I do is I buy this wire on Amazon, 50 feet of it, 22 gauge. Very nice wire. I use it countless times for everything and I cut a piece that I need the right length so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off any color it does not matter I always start with yellow and then work my way so down we now have the yellow wire it doesn't matter what color the wire is stripped off so now we have a wire that we can use for our telemetry but we don't have any ends on this wire so we're going to have to add so ends. now both ends we are going to put a male plug I'm not going to crimp this end yet because we are gonna run this wire, which again, this is our telemetry wire, through this heat shrink. It'll come out up here and it'll run to our P port. So I'm gonna go ahead, get that wire ran through there, get that heat shrunk down. This side that I already have crimped is going to go in a servo plug and that is going to go to channel five of the 456 so we have port. our channel five from the 456 port, which is this line right here. Now we have the FBL loose, channel three, Right here is going to our SRXL2, which we have mounted under this tray. 
So channel five from the four, five, six port is that telemetry wire. That's what's gonna run down we have and it on ran this. out this side. So now that we are wired from our Icon Brain FBL unit, channel five, this is gonna be our telemetry wire. So now what we're gonna do is cut it to length, crimp a new end on it, and this is going to go right to our P port of the ESC, and then our telemetry wiring is now done. Now we got our telemetry wire plugged into the P port of the hobby wing. I just covered it in heat shrink so everything matches. So now our wiring is completely done. So again, P port, we have a line that runs up all the way up to channel five of the four, five, six port. So now it is time to plug our software, our icon software in, and let's go through the icon setup and the radio setup to get the so telemetry. Before we go ahead and set the flat barless unit up and get the telemetry set up, we need to go into the ESC, excuse the beeping, and set servo voltage. Now, this is the only thing I do is set servo voltage inside the hobby wing. So it's super simple. Plug into your fan port. Go ahead and connect. Now that we are talking to the ESC, the beeping will stop. It's gonna tell us our software and everything like that. So this is where I always keep it in gov mode. Go to item. I always keep auto calculate. I always set my self cutoff is for soft cutoff. My cutoff voltage, I set the three volts for a couple different reasons is because depending on the packs you are flying, if it sags, you don't want it to hit low voltage cutoff. BEC voltage. Now, depending on which ESC you have, if it's a version 4, version 5, if it's 80, 120, 130, 200, and so on, will depend on your servo voltage. Now, before adjusting your voltage, make sure your servos are high voltage servos and they can take more than 7 volts or 6 volts. So we are going to increase this to 8 volts and we're going to hit OK. And that is the only thing I do. And now you can also come in here to our auto or rotation motor rotation and hit counterclockwise or clockwise that way you can keep a very nice and tidy motor wires you can either reverse them here or you can reverse them in the hobby wing which is what i like to do once you are done not a problem go ahead and now that we are completely done with our wiring i already went ahead and set the fly barless unit up if you guys don't know how to set up brains or icons there is videos on the channel. So now we need to grab our cord, our laptop, and let's get into the Icon software and start setting up our telemetry. So now that we got our software opened up, I apologize for the fan of the noise from the ESC, but we have to keep our telemetry line plugged in. So what we are going to do is we're gonna come over here to this little speedometer, which is page 12 of the software. So now this is going to be your governor setup and your telemetry. Now we've already gone over how to set up the governor so we're not going to go over this part of it here we're just going to go over this telemetry part right here so you're going to go to telemetry input now we are using a hobby wing so we are going to come down to where it says also hobby wing platinum v3 slash v4 we're going to go ahead and click on that so now you're going to come over here and you're going to see a milliamp correction factor milliamp usable and your voltage cells so now we are running on a 4500 milliamp pack so you're going to put in however many milliamp packs you're flying on and we are flying on 12 cells so we put in 12. now this correction factor percentage here is when you fly the helicopter for the first flight here you're going to see how much power you pulled out of the pack you're going to charge it back up, see how much milliamps you put back in the pack, look at what the telemetry on the radio tells you, and then you're gonna do a correction factor, which is this number right here in percentages. Now, your governed head speed is going to be your governor setup, but for telemetry wise, all you need is this hobby wing right here. So now when we look at our transmitter, we will see actual telemetry and what we get from the ESC. So now we're gonna grab our radio and we're gonna scroll over to our telemetry. Now, this is what we are getting as far as telemetry. We have voltage, our minimum and our maximum. You will get a head speed RPM. Now, the RPM correction is gonna be a little different depending on what you do inside your telemetry. You're gonna get temperature, BEC temperature, your amperage, your BEC voltage. Now, altitude and speed here, you will only get this if you are running a actual GPS unit and you can go into the software, click Vario, and that's a whole nother thing but we don't really use that anyways. 
Now this is going to be your live data here. So as you are spinning the motor up, you're gonna see how, much, how many RPM the rotor is spinning at and your temperature of the ESC and then your brain to integration setup. So it is a very, very simple way to get telemetry from your MSH brain and our icon to your spectrum transmitter. And it's very simple to set up in the software. So now you are completely set up and ready to fly. So your telemetry is working. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on how to wire in the hobby wing for telemetry with a brain slash icon. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this quick little video. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and have a great day.